Okay, so we are live. We don't wait on viewers because Shoot. they will definitely Hello. chime in. We're live, people. Yes, come we're on live. In. So on you in. can accept. You see where it says accept me on the timeline? See. Where it says accept me on the timeline. Accept uh, me on the timeline. Right there. Right here? Just go down. Go right there down. in that corner. Mm-hmm. Oh, it disappeared. So go back up to notifications. Right um, here? Just, yes. You know, 65 years old, you try to do this right here? You're good. Right there. We're just trying to figure, then I do this? Yes, see, we're alive. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I just assisted the mayor with a little, you know, technical. Now that's a little hesitant, that's behind a, a few that's seconds? That's fine, yeah, it's going to do that because it's, okay. yeah, live. To all our followers, but we keep getting out. We now. keep, we keep going. Yes. Maurice Johnson so, is a preacher down there. In hey, West Maurice, Beach. hey. Reverend Johnson, he's probably the best preacher in town in West Palm Beach. And I, also, I often tell him, just stay in West Palm Beach. I don't need any competition in Riviera Beach. Stay down there, Pastor Johnson. So that's a quick plug for uh, Pastor Johnson. Roanoke, Roanoke Missionary Baptist Church, my <laughs> good friend. And then you got Charles Edwards. Mm -hmm. right Stacy, who, hey, everybody. So join us. Give us thumbs up. Give us lots of love. I am sitting here with the mayor of Riviera Beach. I used to always call him Bishop because I have always known him as a bishop, but I'm going to call him Mayor Master today because I'm fine. sitting in your house. Behind Obama, so let's let's give a shout out to Obama behind us. The I, best president of all I to, time. Man. I had to touch you because you met Obama. Something. Well, hopefully one day I, I will. Can do I that. take that story? Yeah, go quickly. ahead. Go ahead, real quickly. He mm -hmm. wasn't president yet. He actually uh, had just finished speaking at Rosa Parks funeral in Detroit. Okay. And I'm standing there on the um, platform mm -hmm. with with other pastors and bishops of all of the United States, and he comes close to me, and I reach out, I shake his hand, and I prophetically say to him, "Mr. President." And he hadn't even announced that he was going to run. I just said, Mr. President. And then he took his arm, mm -hmm. put his arm around me, and gave that big, broad smile, like, how do you know this? I said, well, you know, and that, if you look at him, you can mm -hmm. see his arm a little bit on my shoulder and that big smile. Mm -hmm. And he, he didn't have any gray hair like I do, covered up a little bit. But he was, he, <laughs> he was um, that was before he became president. Okay. And, uh, so you I'm, spoke that into well, I did, I, I, well, I don't know. I just said it, and uh, it happened. Okay. Praise God. Okay, for those who join us, this is the People of Power Show, where I sit down weekly and I talk to movers and shakers, CEOs, entrepreneurs, doing big things. But today, I am with the city official, the mayor of Revere Beach, again. I'm glad to be here. So I just want to give people a quick rundown. Um, last week, I did an interview with another city official, and, um, you know, some things were said, and... Uh, Mayor Masters called me and I said, we know when the, when the, when the president or the mayor calls you, you got to answer. I don't, I don't know. You, you don't just put that on deny. So, hey, Celicia. So I'm just going to say hi to a couple of people that Celicia are chiming Smith in. Celicia Smith-Gordon one of yes. the best attorneys in Palm Beach County. Okay. And uh, I've known her for many years. She's always on point. Say hello to your husband, Mr. Gordon. Great attorney, both of them, and they're on, 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 uh, all right. Great plugs by the mayor. Okay. Uh, I, don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't think Mr. Gordon's an attorney, but he okay. walks like one, he acts like one, he talks like one, so I say Mr. Attorney. <laughs> okay. And if you're having any problems, as he said, she said, thank you, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> that okay. sounds like her. All right, so we want to get into, you know, okay. we want to get into, so I'm, I'm going to let you lead this, and we're going to go from there. Well, I think you said you wanted me to kind of start off with a, a little bio my history. Yeah. Right. I actually do, because... Well, you've done things forever, so we'll be here till like 12 a.m. going ooh, with your history. Cause Wesley we, we, Shuler, you know Yes. Him, hey, know. hey, that's my husband. <laughs> <laughs> so we know that, you know, we, you've done a lot. So let's just kind of go into the transition of you being a pastor, like pastor to politics. What what was that wake-up call well, to say? Well, let me just say something real briefly about a child. Okay. As a child, I started preaching at four years of age. I, I Lysa at nine, ordained mm -hmm. at 12, preached in over 42 states, 45 states by the time I was 12 years of um 16 years of age in about seven countries. But what is really interesting, my mother used to always tell the story that twice, mm -hmm. I probably may not have made it here. The first time she was on her way, now this is back in 1952, okay. she was on her way to uh, uh, illegitimately, uh, illegally have an abortion. You know, mm -hmm. back in that day, they used hangers and all that stuff, but they did terrible mm -hmm. things. And her first cousin called her. My mother's nickname was Jim. She said, Jim, what do you do? She said, I'm going to get born. She said, girl, do you know what you do? I wouldn't do that. Mm -hmm. And so my mother listened to her and didn't do it. Okay. However, be, uh, for that, um, my brother, who was two years my senior, had, uh, my mother had a cesarean section. Mm -hmm. And, you know, at that time they had perfected it. After you have one, mm -hmm. you know, 
having that second one can be a problem. So the doctor came in. My mother had had signed the um, permission statement. The doctor said, you know, you probably should tie your tubes now. Mm -hmm. That was the fifth child. I'm the sixth child. Um, and she had somewhat agreed to do it. But the head doctor at Los Angeles General Hospital, that's the famous hospital from L.A. that's still on TV. My sister okay. is one of the actress, actresses and her daughter's also there on General Hospital. But anyway, he came in the next day and overruled the attending physician and said, you know, uh, Ms. Masters, you are still a young, young lady, mm -hmm. and I'm not going to do that. And because my mother didn't tie her tubes, thank God, I was born. So you're a miracle baby. If you want to say that, yes. Okay, okay. Transition? Hey, transition. Okay. Hey. And one of the highlights, one of the highlights of our ministry was doing a youth revival at Aretha Franklin's Father's Church wow. in Detroit, mm -hmm. New Bethel, Reverend C.L. Franklin. Okay. And I went over to visit one day, uh, daytime before the revival at night, and he asked me, he said, can you uh, walk Aretha's sons to the park? Mm -hmm. And I just felt, Aretha's sons to the park? And that was, I was like 12 years old, they were like mm -hmm. five or six, so I kind of babysitted walking into the park. But anyway, that was a highlight, and then speaking at the National Baptist Convention, uh, of course, with Dr. J. Jackson mm -hmm. was president from mm -hmm. Chicago. So I, I thank God for my ministry. Yes, I am in the office of the mayor, but the greatest office that anyone can have is the, the office of ministry, mm -hmm. the bishop. Mm -hmm. And people say, well, bishop, mayor, but they knew that when they elected me, right. um, that I was a minister, mm -hmm. that I was a bishop. If they, didn't, if they had a problem with that, they had five five times mm -hmm. to get rid of me. So you've been, you've, you've been running a long race now. And they chose <laughs> not to. So one okay. of the bishops said to me, he said, Masters, either Riviera Beach must be so bad that God had to put a bishop at top, or either it must have been so good mm -hmm. that the Lord had the bishop there to continue to anoint and bless the city. Either way, okay. Either way. here I am. Okay, here you are. So how did I get to transition to become a mayor? What mm -hmm. What made me become the mayor? First of all, I, I was not interested in politics at all. Well, you were always active now. I was an activist. Every news station. Community, <laughs> leading marches yes. against drugs yes. and violence. 1987, yeah. we had the first, 1988, had the first um, anti-drug treatment center free. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that was like activism. Mm -hmm. I kind of decided one day that... I wanted to run for some office because I wasn't satisfied at the time of what was going on in the city. It was like in the domain. Mm -hmm. No one was talking about jobs. No one was talking about education. No one was talking about health care. No one was talking about our people, mm -hmm. our residents, in a way that I thought that should have been a conversation. Mm -hmm. No one was talking about bringing businesses in, that, that kind of thing. So my mother and my sister debated. You know, my, my sister is the former first lady of the city of Washington, D.C., um, Marion Barry's wife. She okay. was just on a few days ago in the big, big statue of City Hall for Marion. My mother wanted me to run for council. My sister said, no, Tommy needs to run for mayor. So I decided yeah. that I was going to run for mayor. Okay. And so um, because I just wasn't satisfied. So, and then I thought that if I became mayor, I could transition from advocacy, as mm -hmm. you noted, to policy. Yeah. And with a stroke of the pen, and with the stroke of a bully pulpit, mm -hmm. we could effectuate change mm -hmm. and do some wonderful things with council members and also with referendums. Mm -hmm. And we were able to pass one, two referendums. One was the uh, curfew, juvenile curfew. We never had that in our city. Mm -hmm. We said, young people, you got to be out of harm's way by a certain time at night. Mm -hmm. uh, we have not, we may have had one in the last six, seven, eight years. I've, I've, I've stopped counting. Maybe one person has been shot or killed during the curfew hours since we've had that ordinance in effect. Okay. Everybody remembers to pull up the pants. I remember pull up. That was a huge campaign. I pull was, up your pants now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and we won that. Yes. And I, I was I was rooting for that. Listen, I was like, can you bring that in Palm Beach County? Because again, <laughs> I'm from Palm Beach County. I just want to let everybody know I'm in West Palm Beach. So, but yeah, I wanted that to we, transition we, we over there. We won by a decisive vote. It was like, I think mm -hmm. almost 80% okay. of, the refer of the vote in the referendum. So... You know, I, I'm just here doing God's work and, and trying to serve mm -hmm. my brothers and sisters. When I say brothers and sisters, I'm talking about the people of Riviera Beach. Black right. and white, we're all precious, mm -hmm. precious in God's sight. Mm -hmm. okay. So here I am. Okay. 
So we're gonna we're gonna transition more into now. We're gonna fast forward now. You you're already the mayor. Okay. Things are happening yes. before your eyes. Yes. Your ears. You, you we, we see this the city in turmoil. We hear the we hear all this up. So can you just kind of elaborate just a little bit on that from your perspective as? Well, you know, it's not what others say mm -hmm. we are or who we are. It's who we say right. we are. And you know, Paul said, when, when I seek to do good, evil is always present. Mm -hmm. So no matter how much good we do in the city, Cunningham mm -hmm. Park renovation, mm -hmm. $1.5 million. Southside Community Center, $1.3 million. Fire station number two, the complete renovation, or, or rebuild rather, 4.3. The list goes on and on and on. But in spite of all these wonderful projects and what we do, we're probably the only city in Palm Beach County that gives scholarships to our, our, our young people. Mm -hmm. um, we have more job fairs than any city. Mm -hmm. We have, well, there's only about five or six cities in, in the entire United States that has an Office of Veteran Affairs within the office of the mayor. Mm -hmm. I, am, I am a big supporter of our veterans. My father, Google it right now, fact, fact check me now. My yeah, father. He said fact check him. Now. Right now. Go look. Google Alfred Masters. Mm -hmm. He's the first black Marine in the United States, 1942. Mm -hmm. And I think President Woodrow Wilson, I believe at the time, sent the Secretary of Army or the Secretary of whatever it was uh, down to Oklahoma City. Mm -hmm. And my father became the first African-American uh, soldier at 12.01 a.m. Mm -hmm. So I have a passion and heart for people who preserve and fight for our um, freedom mm -hmm. and our liberty in the United States. So we have all these things going on. We have a senior citizens program that the mayor put into effect where our citizens can, senior citizens of age. Mm -hmm. There's a story behind that. My mother, I lost my mom, 9-11. Um, <clears throat> I was the principal, probably the only caretaker. Mother lived with me until she passed on, transitioned. It was so hard. Mm -hmm. it's, it was so difficult. Taking care of my mom, doing <clears throat> excuse me, all that I could do. Robbing Peter to pay Paul, robbing, you know, this one, uh, Peter to take care of medical needs and mm -hmm. all other needs. And I said, you know what? Seniors need help Peter. with all this. Mm -hmm. so okay, so it, it looked like we had a little bit of technical problems, so I want to make sure that you you reiterate that. Uh, a pause for me. So we're back on right now. So, it, you know, we did have a little technical difficulties, but the mayor did say something that I, I think needs to be repeated just in case for the people who did not hear it. We talked about, let's rewind them real quick again for Senior Citizen Program. The Senior Citizen Program that's needed. And then we're going to talk about the, the news. So we're, we're back on LaShonda. Hello, hello, hello. Oh my gosh, what happened to the feed? So you should be seeing us now because I see that we're back on the rolling. Okay. All right. So it looks like we're, we'll probably catch up back on here. Um, but yes, let's, we'll, hey. Erica, can you give us thumbs up if you hear us? I see you. Yes, Erica, okay, Mel my good Melissa, friend, just give us some thumbs up if you if you're seeing us now talking I'm live. <laughs> There's I don't want it to be any um but Melissa, do you see us? Hello, Celicia. It keeps buffering. Okay, but are you seeing us now? If you can see us now, give us some thumbs up. Hi, Dr. Lynn, do you see us? Okay, so we're back on thumbs up. Okay, great. Unfortunately, when you're dealing with live feeds, it happens. But we're gonna we're gonna just repeat what you said in regards to the senior citizen and also giving the positive news opposed to the negative. Okay. Well, I'm here to talk about both. Okay. You know, Paul said when you seek to do good, evil is always present. Okay. There's always going to be in every city. I don't use the word turmoil, mm -hmm. but we have had some turbulent times mm -hmm. in in the several months. We've had some. If you don't like that word, we'll say challenging. <laughs> Time. If you don't like that word, my granddaughter says, uh, Grandpa, we just got some issues. Right. So if you want to say issues, if you want to say turbulent, uh, and, and from a religious perspective, some people just say just sin. You know, okay. whatever word you want to use, mm -hmm. we have, we've had our share. Okay. And, and I'm, I'm prepared to talk about whatever you want to talk about. Okay. But no, it was, <clears throat> I really like what you really click. Okay. Yes, positive. It's cutting again. I know. The devil is doing this. Trust me. The Anita, enemy. how you doing? Anita. Okay. It keeps buffering, so we're, 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 it looks like we're back on. Okay. So, okay. we need to talk about the issues. It's like you said, the turbulence, the turmoil, whatever you want to call it. Okay. Okay. And I know you said before we got, before that, that we need to start reporting better news. Well, I, no, what I said was it's, it's 
our duty to our tell duty. our own story. Story. Because mm -hmm. you know, the media, they look for sensational stories. Mm -hmm. They look for stories that's going to sell the newspapers. Correct. They look for stories that may look like one thing mm -hmm. and may not be that. So that's their job. You know, mm -hmm. that's their job. They, they talk about Trump every day. Mm -hmm. and they don't talk about some of the wonderful things the president may be doing. But they talk about all the, the negative. negative things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what they do. Mm -hmm. So okay. when you so when you see these stories, and you, you, I'm, I'm sure you hear, you hear stories about yourself. I mean, everybody, I think, um, has probably been in the paper. If you haven't been in the paper, I don't think you're a, a great politician. That's just the way it is because people are going to report negative things. In your heart, how does that make you feel as the mayor, like when you see those type of stories <coughs> about your city? Well, I think we have to be, we have to deal with it, number one. We, we cannot be in denial. Okay. You know, if we have a crime problem or violent and people are afraid, mm -hmm. whoever, whenever, whatever, to come into the city, to live in the city, then we have to deal with that. Mm -hmm. You know, does that mean that we need more boots on the ground? Whatever it means, let's do it. Let's not argue about statistics, whether we're the 30th most dangerous city or the are the 300th most dangerous city mm -hmm. in America. Deal with the issue mm -hmm. and not deny it or turn the other head. Mm -hmm. I think when people see that we care and we are concerned mm -hmm. about these issues and we're dealing with them, mm -hmm. crime, violence, and whatever it may be, to me that's what people need to know, mm -hmm. that that's what we are trying to do. Mm -hmm. And that's number one. Okay, so but certainly it doesn't make me feel good to know mm -hmm. that uh, right now I, one of the big realtors said to me, he said, Mr. Mayor, you're killing me, you're killing us. Mm -hmm. I said, what do you mean? He said, because I can't sell anything now because of all the news stories. No one wants to buy mm -hmm. now. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's always challenging. Mm -hmm. But we have to continue to move forward, to be progressive, and to be positive in mm -hmm. spite of the problems and the challenges that are in our community that others may think that things are so bad and we're in turmoil or, or we have all these things that, you know, with God, all things are possible. Mm -hmm. You just have to believe that That's you true. can and you will. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to hold on and hold out. Oh. Help is on the way. Now, Kim Rowe has a question. Still reaching for Intimate Domain. No, no. We, uh, Intimate was the main... Uh, has played uh, its course, it's done, it's over. We're not going to be doing that anymore. The courts have, have ruled um, mm -hmm. against it. Um, we have a lot of property now. We bought a lot of property by, mm -hmm. by the uh, in that area, so we're, we're good. Okay, so hopefully that answers your question. And we'll try to go in and out. Um, you know, certain questions we, we, we can address, and, you know, the mayor's here. And if he wants to address um, the RNC, says RNG is not doing anything positive, nothing but looking for applause and blaming Obama and his administration for everything that she's speaking about. The, the president. president. So, you know, I don't know. Um, is, the help, is the help Jonathan Evans? No, let's, let's go back to the other question okay. about... Um, the president? Yes. What's, what's that question? Dr. Okay. Lydia, we'll, we'll get to you. Okay. RNG, well, <laughs> 45, is not doing anything positive. Nothing but looking for applause and blaming Obama and his administration for everything. Well, <clears throat> let me just say this. Behind me, there's a picture of Barack Obama. Um, I'm very proud. First of all, I'm a Democrat, and I, I support the Democratic Party and their policies, mm -hmm. uh, their traditions, great presidents. Truman, Kennedy, uh, Clinton, Carter, the list goes on and mm -hmm. on. Uh, <clears throat> I, I'm really disappointed that the president, now that we have, would come in and try to undo everything that President Obama has brought forward, whether, we, whether it's the affordable health care, which we call Obamacare, whether it's uh, the tax, whether it's immigration. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's, it's really bothering, bothersome to me mm -hmm. to know you know, undo the things that maybe are not right, you know, but just don't undo it because Obama did it. You know, if it's something right. that he did that we need to fix or something that he did mm -hmm. as president that we need to fine tune, then let's do that. But don't just throw, throw it away. Mm -hmm. People need affordable health care. Okay. Well, before we go into further, maybe I ought to just pray in the name of Jesus. <laughs> All the, the, Lord, the, 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 the Just bless this. That we won't have these interruptions. 
And I'm going to believe God right now. I just have that kind of faith. Yeah, the prayer warriors of the internet pray, service, pray, please. Pray. Yes, okay. We have power over the internet. We, we do, we do. And, and I know a lot of it's... Uh, <laughs> It's out of our control, but you know when it's live, we keep rolling. We 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 can't we keep rolling. Silesia, does the Riviera Beach um, have any plans to build, development, or open? Okay, open sea restaurants as a part of the growth plan. Well, we do have one sit down restaurant at the marina. There are, there are plans um, to to do more. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that we have to have uh, things in our city that people need and people want. There's mm -hmm. need a bowling alley. Mm -hmm. uh, we need more than one restaurant. We need a theater. Um, you know, when I came here, when I came here in 1970, it was three or four different uh, clubs. I have to go to Sing Island just to play pool. Mm -hmm. Not that I'm a great pool player, but I try to do a little something, something, something. Okay. But um, yes, those are the kinds of things. That's what I call responsible mm -hmm. development, mm -hmm. redevelopment. It's not just about big buildings on the ocean. Mm -hmm. It's about things on the west side mm -hmm. that we need. In our own community, we should not have to leave our community for a restaurant, um, a bowling alley. Uh, the list goes on and on and on and on. Okay, so Anita Lewis says, I don't know why some folks think that one person controls how the city thinks and feels. Newsflash, the residents have watched the meetings from before firing. They know why they feel the way they feel. Stop the attacks. Well, first of all, <clears throat> I guess she's referring to other people and some of the things that they have said. Mm -hmm. um, that's not in my DNA. I'm not here to attack any of my council people or, or anyone. I, I just don't need to do that. And when you do, it just doesn't turn out right. Uh, I do want to commend Kashana Miller Anderson because I think she did a heck of a job in staying very calm, very professional, acted very professionally mm -hmm. during those tough times. And she did a great job. And that's a good reason why some people say we need her back again to continue some of the work that she has started um, as, a, as a council person. Mm -hmm. And of course, I was very actively involved in her campaign three years mm -hmm. ago. And she's running against Keith, she, Keith she, Golden. And uh, okay. let me just make this clear. Okay. Um, I really just met Keith mm -hmm. uh, not long ago. Mm -hmm. I mean, he plays church drums, a good guy. Mm -hmm. I don't have anything, nothing negative, nothing bad to say about this young man at all. I love to see young people get involved mm -hmm. in the political arena. Mm -hmm. I just wish he wasn't running against Kashama. <laughs> you know, I want to see Kashama mm -hmm. continue mm -hmm. in that capacity. Three years is really not long enough mm -hmm. to really bring into fruition things that you really want to do. It takes three years just to get your feet on the ground. Mm -hmm. so, okay, so at least yes. you, you said that. Um, the housing is so expensive, those that have grown here are forced to buy in other cities. Um, even the rundown parts of the city are over $200,000. What programs um, are in place now for home buyers as an inactive to buy in Riviera? As an incentive. I incentive, think. okay. Yeah, I'm high as it, younger than yours, so I can see a little bit. Oh, great. And Dr. <laughs> Lydia, you're right. Keith Golden is, a, he's a great guy. You're right. He's okay. a great guy. And we're guy. not saying he isn't. And as I say, um, well, one of the things, one of the programs that we <clears throat> we embrace is first term, first time home, first time home ownership mm -hmm. here in, in the city, and um, you know there, there are other kinds of programs that the county has. Um, we want to make sure that our neighborhoods are safe. That's an incentive. Clean. That's an incentive. Mm -hmm. Welcoming. That's an incentive. Good schools. That's an incentive to someone that wants to build or buy in Riviera Beach. That's one of the reasons, just, just coming here, I heard about at a school where they found a gun in a uh, backpack yeah. just today, today, right here. Mm -hmm. And I keep saying, listen, put those darn metal detectors in the schools. It was just the grace of God mm -hmm. that they found it. But suppose they hadn't found it, right. and it might have been too late. Yeah. But metal detectors keep guns from getting into airports onto planes. Mm -hmm. Why can't we have that same sense of security that we have at airports for mm -hmm. our children? Mm -hmm. And the first school, and I'm, I'm on a mission, mm -hmm. and I'm very proud. My mission is for the schools in Riviera Beach to do all that I can mm -hmm. to work with the principals that would like to put metal detectors uh, mm -hmm. in our schools. Mm -hmm. And the first school, thank you, kudos to Dr. Banks. Mm -hmm. Dr. Banks says, I want them in my school. And mm -hmm. I said, you know what, Dr. Banks? I want to be to write mm -hmm. through our community benefit 
that the mayor has and one mm -hmm. of the other elected officials a check mm -hmm. to put those metal detectors in your school. Mm -hmm. Dr. Schuler from Schuler Funeral Home, I might be the chair of the, of the, the board, but mm -hmm. she's on the board. Mm -hmm. And um, I always say when when God overtakes you, let Shula undertake you. Did a great job burying my mom. Another plug for uh, by, Shula's by, Memorial Chapel. By the way. We, we your best. Okay. So let's just say this because we got to get to the, the meat and potatoes. Now, I watched the meeting yesterday. Again, I'm not from Rivera Beach, so I can just kind of see as I don't like to use the word devil's advocate, but let's say a neutral party um, okay. on the issues. And a lot of people were angry. I, I saw you kind of come down. You do this thing where you come down like as a reg regular citizen. What is that? What well, is that? Well, well, first of all, <laughs> let me just say this, Dr. Lydia Smith and others. Um, I mean, let's not go back and forth. I mean, this, you know, don't attack Dr. Smith. She has a right to her opinion, no matter what it is. Mm -hmm. So you're not going to change Dr. Lydia Smith. She's not going to change your mind. We're here to get out the message that you want to get out from the mayor's office. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I I'm sure people want to debate with anyone. Mm -hmm. They can go to uh, their page or whatever, but mm -hmm. I just don't, you know, that's why I don't do that. I don't go on anyone's page and debate with them mm -hmm. whatever. I just say what I have to say and I move on. Right. Okay, what, what, what were you saying? We were talking oh, about... Oh, why do I okay. go down? Right. The, the because I do wear two hats. Okay. I am a pastor, mm -hmm. a bishop. Mm -hmm. Because I'm the mayor, it does not take away my right as any other bishop mm -hmm. would have to come mm -hmm. and speak in mm -hmm. public comment. Mm -hmm. Ruled by the attorney. Mm -hmm. The issue came up. I asked the attorney publicly, and he said I was correct, mm -hmm. that I, I do have that right to, to speak mm -hmm. as a bishop. So there's times that um, last night, I felt the urge to speak as a minister. One of the things that I was said as the pastor, I think almost, I think it was 40, it might have been a little more, 40 pastors mm -hmm. for uh, allowing me to bring Dr. Patel um, to the church and present her. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'm going all out for this young lady uh, now, as far as taking, again? she's the, she is the Democrat candidate that's okay. running in, in the race against Don Pardo, who is a Republican. Now, I know they say it's a nonpartisan, mm -hmm. but the truth is the truth. You know, um, people who run for mayor, somebody may be a Republican, somebody may be a mm -hmm. Democrat. Mm -hmm. And people may say, that, that doesn't really matter. Well, that's your judgment call. Mm -hmm. But you asked me who she was. Mm -hmm. So she's a former uh, retired educator, mm -hmm. PhD, uh, assistant principal at a school, I did some teaching at a Title I school. And, you know, some people say, oh, she said she's about mm -hmm. the poor community. No, 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 no. Title I schools are those schools that the government has decided they need extra help. Mm -hmm. And they, they're the ones where the kids are uh, on the special food lunch, mm -hmm. what do they call that, the lunch program. Right. So when anyone uh, has a desire to go in the heart of any city, mm -hmm and go to Title I schools, they ought not to be criticized, they ought to be commended. Mm -hmm. When I was going to college in California, California, not too far, Pasadena, mm -hmm. the uh, university, before you were born, by the way, <laughs> if you got a student loan, if you signed up to go to teach or do any kind of community work in a Title I community, um, mm -hmm. they would dismiss, I think, half of your loan? Mm -hmm. Or maybe all of it. I don't even remember. I'm getting too. I can't remember all these things. But, <clears throat> and that's that's who uh, Dr. Botelli mm -hmm. is. And I'm glad you asked me that. And uh, we, I took her to 40 churches plus. Sometimes we did three or four Sunday. Mm -hmm. But you know, other legend, other elected officials mm -hmm. took their person, her opponent, to churches as well. Okay. That's our right to do that. Right. And we choose who we choose mm -hmm. for whatever reason. I think as a mayor, they're probably like, them. you're running the campaign for Patel and you're running the campaign for Kashamba. I mean, you and you do have the right to pick and you sit yeah. here and you know what goes on behind the scenes. We don't know everything. I think people know that I work hard for okay. the candidates that I support. Okay. I supported Hillary Clinton as okay. mayor. Mm -hmm. I worked very hard mm -hmm. in that campaign. I supported the, the young man whose picture is behind me, President Barack Obama. Mm -hmm. I worked very hard mm -hmm. in that campaign. Mm -hmm. I supported, <clears throat> excuse me, I wish mm -hmm. I had a little water there, young man. Um, water? Right there. I supported um, 
Don't want the mayor to choke on, on live, Lord. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> I supported Sister Lynn Hubbard. I worked very hard mm -hmm. in her campaign. Okay. And the okay. list goes on and on and on. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, you know, I, I do what I do because I have faith in those candidates. Mm -hmm. And I, at that time, I feel those are the people, the right people, mm -hmm. to do the things that the city needs to go forward. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I put people in later on, you know, I say, did they change? Mm -hmm. Or did I change? And then sometimes, you know, you, once a person gets in office, you don't know what they're going to do until they, <clears throat> thank you, until they get in office. But as the mayor of the city, I can't be neutral when a president is running for the country. I can't be neutral mm -hmm. when a senator or a congressman. And why should I be neut neutral mm -hmm. when someone that I'm going to sit with? So I think that I should be the voice mm -hmm. of the masses of the people who support me to say these are the people mm -hmm. who I feel uh, would work in the best interest of the city, and I tell them why. Mm -hmm. Like my other colleagues have said the same things about who they choose mm -hmm. and why they feel. That, I mean, we just do what we do because we think it's, this is what we feel is right. Mm -hmm. And it's our right to do that. Mm -hmm. I would be amiss if I didn't. I would feel very bad if mm -hmm. I didn't work hard for the people that I believe in. Mm -hmm. who are running for office in this city. So how do you think they're, the, well, the other candidates, I know they're probably watching this, they're going to want to, okay. they're going to want to say something. But Kim Rowe, if you're still there, give us a thumbs up. I know you said he didn't answer the question and, you know, the things are going live so we may not see everything. So, you know, in all fairness, you want to make sure that if you feel like a question wasn't answered or can be answered, that um, no, it, it does. No, that's something about Don Pardo. Let's see. Which is Don Pardo? Uh, let's see. I think Alex Freeman would go back. My friend Alex, he's my friend. He's always supported me. Maybe John supported Green. Pardo, the Republican, when it fitted for your needs. Let me let, let me uh, let me let me answer that. First of all, <clears throat> you have a Republican, mm -hmm. and then you have a Trump Republican. Mm -hmm. Now there are some good Republicans. Uh, uh, someone that I think is a Trump uh, Republican. Why do I say that? Mm -hmm. Because on on her, she took a picture with Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. She took a picture with Ted Cruz. If Donald Trump was right across the street, I would not be going to take a picture mm -hmm. with the young man that's Donald Trump, the President of the United States. Immigration policies, mm -hmm. what he said about the Haitian American, calling the SHIT, whole Haiti, the horrible, terrible things, what he's trying to do to affordable health care. Mm -hmm. So yes, in the past, um, mm -hmm. there wasn't anyone else that challenged Don Pardo. So we have to mm -hmm. we have to deal with whatever is dealt with us at that time. But you know, as the years went on, mm -hmm. I began to question why why is it that Don only goes to the parade and no other mm -hmm. activity mm -hmm. that's parade connected? Why is it that she voted against Dr. Martin Luther King the funding of the Dr. Martin Luther King parade festivities in two thousand and eight? Have been on the on the on the uh, dance for a year. Mm -hmm. Why is it that she voted against President Barack Obama Highway? I went out there and got thousands of signatures. Mm -hmm. So you know, as people, as the years go by, you begin to see some things and you begin to question some things. And when someone becomes president, and that president's way out there mm -hmm. in right field, and you still support them. Mm -hmm then it's time for me to say, I gotta go. Mm -hmm. So um, Dr. Patel is, is my choice because Dr. Patel not, done, has done things that I support. She was very much involved in the women's rights movement. Mm -hmm. She was very much involved in the Clinton, Hillary Clinton campaign. She was very much involved, went out in the community and got signatures, hundreds of signatures, that ex-felons who you know that we call returning citizens, citizens, by the way, have the right to vote. Mm -hmm. Those are the kinds of things. Mm -hmm. Going into a Title I school, teaching a Title I school, those are the kinds of things. Mm -hmm. That's who I am. Mm -hmm. And that, those are the kinds of things that I support. So that's why, now that we have a choice, mm -hmm. I have to go with the uh, Democrat candidate. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, they, hey, you listen. I'm not voting um, on, on, on that party. So, you know, he said, I'm, I'm sure that, uh, yeah, you, you open some doors. There. <laughs> I'm 
I'm sure that uh, that the partner would um she's she's going to have to she's probably going to have a rebuttal for that. Well, um, I respect the mayor. The people of Rivera just need more clarification. Okay, okay. So let's let's talk about this because I think people want to want to address this too. I, I kind of saw a little bit with. Okay, so we're at the meetings. It seems like the city's divided. I, I mean, it clearly it clearly is with the whole firing. And I know you wanted to address that part of it, too, because... I, I do. First of all, let me just address someone that, that um, okay. I think two or three people, so I won't mention names. Okay. Uh, no, I am not being paid one dime, but if offered, I'll certainly accept <laughs> because I'm working hard and I have the right to be paid for what I do as a mm -hmm. political consultant when I work with a candidate. Mm -hmm. I have a right to, you know, but right now no one has paid me, no one has offered to pay me, but, you know, I do what I do because if a candidate does not pay me, I serve a good God mm -hmm. that can reward me for mm -hmm. the work that I do for the people. And I think it's about the people. My sister gave me, core master's baby, gave me two, two, two things as an advice. When I became mayor, she said, always keep the people with you and God on your side. And if I didn't have God on my side, I wouldn't be here for five terms. And if people did not believe in me as the mayor, the jobs mayor, the mayor that's doing for veterans, the mayor that's doing for seniors, the mayor that has gone to Philadelphia and a city in New Jersey, was it Camden? No, right across from Philly. Mm -hmm. And other places, the Los Angeles, to sit down with captains and chiefs about best uh, police practices and what, what we can do to you know, do some things differently in our city. Mm -hmm. So um, that's that's who I am. Mm -hmm. So do you feel that... The city is divided. The city, you, you, right, the city's divided. That's what you ask. Right. When you see the city being divided, I mean, when you do like an, just like an internal reflection, do you think anything you may have said or done caused some of it, maybe a responsibility for people feeling one way and then the other people feeling the other? And you could say no. You may not well, be, do you? people are influenced by the leaders that they respect. Okay. People listen to me mm -hmm. because they know that I'm going to speak my convictions mm -hmm. and I'm going to stand up for what I feel is right. I have been fighting mm -hmm. for human rights and civil rights all my life, mm -hmm. be it black or be it white. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't think the city mm -hmm. is too divided about the Jonathan Evans um, scenario. Mm -hmm. I think the council was divided. 2,800 people. There are more people that signed a recall, and even though there's some problems with the recall, and the recall may not win, or, I mean, may not go forward, but the 2,800 people are still there. And everywhere I go, people say to me, and maybe I'm going in the wrong circles, but I think everyone likes a fight, or the excitement of a fight, but they don't like uh, a dirty fight. Or unfair mm -hmm. fight. They don't want hit blows mm -hmm. below the waist, below the belt. Mm -hmm. Keep them up. So when people, I think the thing with the firing of Jonathan Evans is what they did and how they did what they did. Okay. How would you feel? You come to work, never had any reprimands, never been put on probation, never gave any warnings. You come to work, at the end of the day, you're fired. And you're not really given. And to this day, people are still being challenged as, what did he do? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, the reason that was given was, we're going to fire him at the end of this meeting. First of all, I, I didn't like the fact that the people, it wasn't on the agenda. Mm -hmm. I just think that's just, I don't care who does it. It's just wrong. Mm -hmm. If you know you're going to do something, it ought to be on the agenda for people can speak on it. Mm -hmm. So how would you feel? Mm -hmm. Your son and daughter was treated that way. I thought it was an unjust firing then. Mm -hmm. I think it's, a, it's an unjust firing now, mm -hmm. the way that he was treated. Let's mm -hmm. look at the fact that uh, he was never given um, a name clearing. I mean, it was just so much that had happened mm -hmm. with that. And, you know, I, I think that the council just didn't handle it mm -hmm. the right way. Right. Um, Anita, we said, I wonder, okay, Anita, let me know. Um, what you're saying because I saw she said it was this was disrespectful so we are not looking at all the comments that are going across because you know I am paying attention to what he's saying but if you feel to let let me know what you feel is, is disrespectful so we can address it um, because we don't want anybody to feel 
disrespected or be disrespected on the panel. Um, it's a shame that you didn't allow this with TD. But what what are you saying as far as what didn't I allow with TD? I'm trying to understand. Um, let me know, Cheryl. What you, what do you mean as far as clarification? Well, <clears throat> so, okay, so Jonathan Evans should have never been fired. Okay. Never. I don't. I don't think. I didn't see. I'm just like Kashama Miller Anderson. Mm -hmm. I didn't see any grounds for misfeasance. And when asked about misfeasance, mm -hmm. I still don't see the ground. You mm -hmm. don't fire people because they give you options mm -hmm. and you disagree with them. So let me ask you a question because I know... Because that's what a city manager is supposed to do. Say, mm -hmm. here's option A, here's option B, here's option C. Mm -hmm. And then the council decides mm -hmm. which option do you want. Mm -hmm. You don't fire people because you disagree mm -hmm. with him or her giving you an option. So for the record, though, yes. it, it was alleged that... You wanted, you wanted him fired, and they did what you asked, and now it's that. So well, that let me just say this. Anybody who like anybody okay. who knows my relationship with the council, okay. particularly this council, mm -hmm. over the last three years, no, they don't never do what I want done. Okay. They don't never listen to me. Sometimes I, I think I have to fight to even speak mm -hmm. for, so some, for someone to say that the council listened to me. If the council had listened to me on a lot of things, a lot of things would have been different. They ain't listened to me. So that's just not the case. From day one, Kashama Miller Anderson and myself have been uh, great supporters, mm -hmm. advocates of Jonathan Evans. I thought he's done, I thought he did a good job. Mm -hmm. And I think everywhere I go, most people say he has, mm -hmm. other than uh, council felt that he didn't. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the fact is we have to move on now. Mm -hmm. He has gotten another job somewhere. People mm -hmm. say, if you're coming back, if I was Jonathan Evans, I wouldn't want to come back. Right. Because, you know, if you can't come back and, and be in peace, mm -hmm. and if it's always going to be a 3-2 vote, that's division. Mm -hmm. We need, I mean, if three people feel this is not the man for us no matter what, then, you know, I don't want to see him in a situation that he's always got to put fires out. Mm -hmm. And he's always got to fight this and do this. You know, I want to see this young man have a chance to use his expertise, his experience, mm -hmm. his degrees. And just to show you, I mean, we threw him away and another city picked him up. Right. So, so just for must... the record, because, you know, it's, it's one okay, of those things. Okay, for the record. Go we, ahead. Have, we, have to, we have to put the Band-Aid on it. That's deal. fine. We have to put the Band-Aid. So for the record, the mayor saying he didn't want it. And I know from somebody, because like I said, some of the comments we, we can't read because they're typing really quick. So... I just want to say this as a neutral party. One party says you did. You're saying you didn't. Okay, we didn't have a. We don't have a video camera. We don't know what happened. We, we're behind the scenes, and that's what it is. You're not gonna. I don't think that subject is ever going to be agreed upon. People are going to feel the way they feel, and you have to move forward. And the fact is, no and, one has ever right. heard me publicly state. Mm -hmm. No one. This man is a bad city manager. The only statements they have heard from me from that dance is that he's a good manager. I didn't like the way they talked to him. I didn't like the way they treated him. Mm -hmm. I didn't like the micromanaging. Let me just say this. Elder Lonnie Lovett, mm -hmm. you are a man of God. Stop the personal attacks. Mm -hmm. Just stop it. That's not... And we don't even... I don't even... We don't even see half of the things. So we'll, we'll definitely go back. Because um, like I said, everybody's typing it. so quickly. Just stop it. I mean, mm -hmm. you're a preacher. I am not going to get in a debate mm -hmm. with you. If you feel that you have a divine mandate to personally attack my character, attack mm -hmm. my positions, to attack who I support. I mean, just because you got seven or eight Pardo signs in your yard, don't hate on me because I support Botel. You ran for mayor. Mm -hmm. you, had a, you had a chance to become the mayor of this city. You had a chance for the people to go out to the polls and vote for you. Mm -hmm. However, I don't, I don't think you got even 400 votes. So why are you, where have you been the last year? Where were you in the last two years? I haven't seen you. All of a sudden, here you are mm -hmm. popped up out of nowhere to try to criticize, dominize, and ostracize the mayor. I mm -hmm. think it's politically driven. Mm -hmm. Anybody who's got seven or eight signs in their yard and can't put seven signs on the street, mm -hmm. there's a problem. Don't hate on me. I'm just expressing my opinion. I love you as my brother in the ministry, and I'm not going to pick a fight with you. I'm going to take the high road, mm -hmm. and you're a man of God. Don't just stop it. Just stop it. Go ahead. And just, just for the record, I know that it looks like, and again, I may be wrong, so please correct me if I'm wrong. 
it looks like it said I am allowing you to get attacked I guess I don't know maybe I'm reading it wrong let me just let me just say I'm allowed but before me and Master got on the show I let you know it was a live post no, it's a live it, it is live and people are gonna say what they want to say we can um, delete comments if they if they are uh, too much so I just want to let you know so TD had the same forum trust me if anyone had anything to say to TD and I asked him to respect him as well he was open for whatever people had to say so I do apologize if there's something that we're not seeing on here and again you know I don't want anyone to you know to get disrespected but I do want to answer something that someone said about sticking signs in people's yards I need to address that Mm -hmm. First of all, if you put a sign in somebody's yard <laughs> without their knowledge or permission, mm -hmm. which you ought not to do, mm -hmm. you can take it down. Mm -hmm. I can tell you, I have put up a lot of signs for Dr. Patel, only on the mainland. She had a terrific team mm -hmm. on the island. Volunteers went door to door on the island. Volunteers, uh, Democrats and Republicans that mm -hmm. were supporting her on the island like over here. And I can tell you, 95% of the signs that I put up mm -hmm. in yards on the west side are still in those yards. Mm -hmm. If you don't believe me, go to 36th Street, go to 37th Street, go to 24th Street. Though, those signs are there. They would not stay there without the owner's permission. Most of our signs have been put up in yards and still they have been there for two months. Mm -hmm. People say signs don't vote. Signs, you're right. They don't vote. But if a person have a sign in their yard, in which I, ha I hope you have one, mm -hmm. for Dr. Patel and Kashama Mill Anderson, and if you leave that sign in that yard for two months, doesn't that make a statement? So you know, Keith, you know, Keith Golden and uh, Don Pardo are gonna want to. You, you, that's okay. I'm just, that's fine. We go. We, I'm just saying. Cause I mean, I support who I support. Not you know. Let me just say mm -hmm. this. Sometimes people really support personal attacks. Okay. Sometimes people support people because they force someone. Mm -hmm. Then sometimes people support people because they are against someone. Mm -hmm. In the case with Keith Golden, I'm just for Kashamba. I ain't against Keith Golden. He hasn't done anything for me to be against. Mm -hmm. I'm just for Kashamba Miller Anderson. And, and I wish if, if Keith was running in a, in a different race, I'd probably be number his number his one supporter. Mm -hmm. So we're not gonna go there. Okay. And Donald Will again you need to remove the biblical titles from Facebook. No one can preach. Okay, so I guess I guess it's kinda going um back and forth okay so how do we move forward i mean with all this with i know after the 13th uh, whoever's going to win the election will will either you know be someone new or someone returning we don't know we, well we don't based, know. based upon a recent poll that was told to me mm -hmm. and we didn't do any polls uh we me and kashama miller anderson are um uh dr botel so it had to have been done by someone else. Mm -hmm. They said that Botel is out, is going to win big, double digits. Now, I've said from day one, I believe there's going to be a landslide. I believe that Dr. Botel is going to win a landslide. Let me tell you why. This is the first time that the island has ever been divided. Mm -hmm. When you go to the island, fact check, don't take my word, just go up down the street. Mm -hmm. On Pardo Street, there's about seven signs. There's about three signs in her yard. Mm -hmm. Every street just about on the island has Botel signs up and down, up and down. If you go to um, Bimini Lane, if you go to Morris, if you go to Yacht Harbor, mm -hmm. if, if you go to the last uh, development, mm -hmm. why is it? And that's the question that people ought to ask. Why is it mm -hmm. that you've been in office eight years, 10 years, and you don't even have 20 signs, 30 signs in yards in your own neighborhood mm -hmm. when Dr. Patel has 150 plus in her own neighborhood, mm -hmm. which is Singer Island. Why is that? Mm -hmm. And then if you come over here, go up and down the streets and see which candidate has the most signs in yards. It's Dr. Patel. Mm -hmm. Why is it that Don Parter, who's been in office for how many years? I don't know. <clears throat> Doesn't have these signs in yards. Mm -hmm. Is it because she just found the black church? All of a sudden, she is just now going to black churches. Jesus. I mean, is it because she has not gone to any of the Martin Luther King Fest? It's just a fact. You can't expect to pop up all of a sudden 
You had the black churches. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, you on the parade and the fire truck. Well, she's been at the parade. She has not missed the parade. Yeah, man, you know they're gonna know. You know they're gonna okay. go down and shade. You know that's it's, gonna go down. It's okay, but it's a fact. Right. Fact check it. Mm -hmm. Doctor Patel has said this. She hasn't been to any black churches either mm -hmm. until the campaign. I didn't even know her until recently, but she promised every pastor and it's forty plus. I thought it was forty. Mm -hmm. That I'm not going to be the candidate that you only see me when I run. When you need me, I'm going to be there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to come back and say thank you. I'm going to come back and say, now that's what she said. Mm -hmm. Now, if she doesn't keep her word, then I'll get away from her too. Mm -hmm. I want people to keep their word. If you say you're going to come back to our churches, do it. Don't mm -hmm. just do it to get a seat. So Anthony, Don't so just show up. When, <clears throat> wins. I hope they have the best interests of the people, the, yeah, the people at heart. And that's true. And that's the thing, you know, for example, when it's time for a new mayor, okay. Well, well that's <clears throat> it's interesting that Alex Freeman would say that because he's saying it's time for a new sheriff. And he's running for sheriff. And I'm supporting Alex mm -hmm. Freeman. I've always supported Alex Freeman. But if he doesn't want to support me, because I'm supporting Pardo, but yet I'm supporting you, Alex, as sheriff, that's not even fair. Mm -hmm. So, Alex, come on. Don't, don't take this personal. The mayor is saying, and you know, I supported you as sheriff. You haven't done anything that I would not support you again as mm -hmm. sheriff. You don't want to support me as a mayor, that's fine. Mm -hmm. But I've always said, let the people speak. And if mm -hmm. the people feel mm -hmm. that I don't deserve to be their mayor, and someone says, Master ain't going nowhere. He's immortal. <laughs> oh, I'm not immortal. No, 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 no. But here's, here's the deal. Mm -hmm. If people feel that I don't deserve another term, if the people feel that our job fairs, mm -hmm. the veteran uh, in the office, the senior citizen programs, and other kinds of things that I've tried to do as the mayor of the city, if, if they are not good enough, and if I have not done a great job, and someone else runs for mayor, mm -hmm. they win and I lose, I must accept the will of the people gracefully. But five times, I've had great candidates that have run against me. One of the better candidates was Billy Brooks. Now, Billy Brooks and I talk almost every other day. We're good friends. As a matter of fact, she and I just did a commercial together for Dr. Botel. I mean, we don't take this personally. So why do you think, like, for example, when you get these people, and I don't know if, if the other mayors... I actually, support Alex the, for chief because I think it'll be I mean, for a sheriff. Okay. Because I think it'll be a good share. But go ahead. Ask I don't know. Question. Even the other mayors um, do lives and, and, and are so <laughs> hands on in their community like you are. Where do you think that's like this lack of disrespect? Where do you think it com comes from? What is the root of it? Is it. I don't know. I'm, I'm, <laughs> where do you think it comes from? I mean, because well, you're, 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 okay, you're the mayor. Okay. And when I think of someone being the mayor, I think of. I think of respect, like if I met President Obama, I'm, I, I think of the respect that you should have or the citizen should have for someone that sits in office. And, you know, you clearly see some, even you mentioned it on, on even some of the council meetings, that the lack of respect that they even have for the council. Where do you think that stems from? What, what, what started that, just the no respect for? I think that we, I think that we as elected officials, have to be very careful how we talk to people. Okay. And what we say and how we say it. Okay. We should never raise our voice. We should never, you know, um, attack the, the public. Okay. State facts and move on and not become argumentative. Mm -hmm. I think when people begin to feel that you're not transparent or you've got something to hide, you no longer represent me, or you're disconnected from the people that put you in, mm -hmm. then, they, then they start losing respect for me, okay. for me or that person or whoever. But being the mayor for five terms, mm -hmm. somebody mm -hmm. has had to respect the mayor. Mm -hmm. Somebody had to believe that I'm there for the right thing. Right. Someone had to believe. And mm -hmm. you know what? My numbers have gone up. Mm -hmm. The last two times, it was an almost landslide victory. Okay. You know, so people make those kinds of remarks, and they say, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. Well, you know what? If I'm doing whatever you think I'm doing, they got pictures, they got videos. Mm -hmm. Take a picture. Take a video. They give me so much credit. Oh, the mayor is out all times of the night, late at night. Well, okay, and that's the best you have? Mm -hmm. I mean, come on. I mean, night or day. If I'm out day, oh, he's still in signs. Oh, that day, oh, he's doing this on scene. Mm -hmm. I mean, come on, come on. Just stop it. Stop it, people. Just stop it. 
I've been here since 1987. I have had to deal and have dealt with every accusation you can oh, yeah. throw me say, at me. You, like, this is armor. Cause he, like, but I'm he, still he, standing. He got some thick skin now because, Lord, I, I, I don't know if I would have been able to handle I'm half, still half, it's of, okay. it's, half it's of okay. what has been said. It it's says, okay. so when the person switches sides, uh, sometimes a change... Um, he cares about the city and the people. So I'm just kind of reading because I know I don't want to feel like people are being ignored if they have, you know, issues. Um, okay, so why is the mayor being attacked on your show? This should not happen with Terrence. People need to be fair. And, Dataria, you're right. And let me just tell you, we're not, this is not an attack on the mayor, okay? This and is you an didn't set this up for that to be. And, I, and please you're set innocent. that on the record. You're totally innocent. Please set that for the People record. People who okay? I was going to be, who are my haters, decided to right. go on and, because and throw Terrence this had Because Terrence was on a live forum, okay? He, had, he may have had a different audience, but we know what we were going to be set up for. You know, everyone's not going to like him, everyone, but you have people that do love him. So I just want to let know this is not a attack the mayor forum. I, half the things we're not even, be, we're not reading. I mean, obviously, we, we can't um, do that. So I just wanted to let people know it's not a attack on the mayor hour, but you, you got some upset people, and, and he's doing well. He's handling it. He's asking for questions. Um, yeah, totally different set of interview with TD. Well, and that the reason being, um, because the interview I did with TD was set up to really do the traditional people of power show where I highlight movers and shakers. But when TD did address um, some things and it included the mayor's name, Mayor Masters I called me. I think he me. said something about going around and saying, I, I, I right. am not He called me up and he wanted to. accuse TD mm -hmm. of doing, doing right. anything. That's just not me. Okay. I'm not going to make any personal attacks mm -hmm. on, on Terrence Davis. Mm -hmm. I think he has a good heart. He does what mm -hmm. he feels is right mm -hmm. for the city. And mm -hmm. how he does it, that's that he represents, mm -hmm. and um, uh, I guess a point of view, or he represents constituents, he has mm -hmm. a right to do that. I'm not going to personally attack mm -hmm. Terrence Davis for anything that that he said about me. I just don't do that. Right. That's not my DNA. And um, Cheryl, when I said no, so you made it clear we couldn't have, no. When in the beginning of the interview with, with Terrence, I don't know if you listened to it, I know that there were some legal things going on, and I said, you know, whatever he can answer, he can answer. Just like with uh, Mayor Masters, whatever he wants to answer, he, he has free. We, we talked about this yes, prior to the interview, and I said, whatever you want to address, you can. If you do not want to address it, we skip over it. So it was not, um, this is not set up differently. It's actually set up the same way. Mm -hmm. I think the mayor, of course, just has more people, you know, getting on there. Y'all y'all ain't finna jump on my girl, Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> but you, 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 line, yeah, Kitty. But yeah, you just have to let people know because there's that uh, there's an assumption again that I'm, I'm sitting you down here to get beat up, and that's no. not the intention. No. You know, in order to, to heal and go forward, you know, just like I said earlier, Pardo, you know, she may hear this too, and, and, and she may want to say something. So people do have the right to defend themselves, and um, unfortunately... People on this forum are not being, um, I would say, probably as nice as uh, they were with TD. Um, and TD did address some of the things, too, because they asked TD why didn't he make things public. Um, and he addressed them. You know, he, he did the same thing. And, you know, what's interesting, there's more people coming about, about me in a positive way mm -hmm. than those that are taking pot shots. Let me just say this to people mm -hmm. who have taken pot shots at me. Mm -hmm. who been run, who ran for office with elected officials. Mm -hmm. When you do those kinds of things, it just doesn't turn out. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Judy Davis wanted to uh, lock me up at the movie theater, call the police. Mm -hmm. She lost. And, I didn't even hear about that. So uh, now now you bring it, look, you bring it some, I've, I've never even heard about Bruce, that. Bruce, my, my friend, and mm -hmm. we, we talked several times, mm -hmm. Bruce got and talked about me like a dog mm -hmm. when I went to China. Mm -hmm. And he lost. Mm -hmm. And we could go on and on and on. Another young lady ran for office, talked about me. She lost. Mm -hmm. Elder Lonnie Lovett talked about me like a dog. Mm -hmm. And he only got 400 vo votes. He lost. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, you know, even people who ran, I don't want to call her name, she made some statements about mm -hmm. me, and she lost. So mm -hmm. it just doesn't turn out right. Mm -hmm. When you talk about others, you don't have to do it. Talk about the issues. Mm -hmm. If you voted against the, the funny the MLK, that's a fact. That's not talking about you. It's saying how you voted. If Pardo voted against President Barack Obama high that way, and I worked so hard, that's not talking about her. It's talking about the vote. Right. Issues. But don't do those kinds of things because it never works out. Mm -hmm. I'd rather for people to attack me, mm -hmm. and I win in the end. 
or um, I have the victory than for me to attack others. Mm -hmm. Because if I did that, it wouldn't turn out right for me. Mm -hmm. So that's why so, I'm not going to attack any of my, I'm just not going to do it. And you're not up for election until next year. No, anyway. I'm not a candidate, but I think some people think I am. You're not a candidate. So They think I am, though. They, they, they say I'm, I must be running the campaign. I mean, I'm not a candidate, y'all. I mean, you got a whole year to mm -hmm. attack me, or you got a whole year <laughs> to work with me. And we have some great things that we want to bring and do. And that's what we want. Okay. So we, we always have to end. We're going to end on a high note. You know, we're, we're not ending right yet. But I want to know, because when I leave here, I want to make sure that we've, we've covered everything. Because, you know, people, you know, they come after me. It was like, oh, you didn't ask him this. And you didn't say this. And, you know, why I have you. So, I mean, we kind of talked about the whole Jonathan Edwards. We got past that. We, we know who, obviously, you're rooting for. Um, obviously, the mayor, it has thick skin. And he knows that people don't you know, don't necessarily like him, but he's okay with that because a lot of people do love him. So we, we, we cover those. Check, 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 and the check, check. Praise the Lord. Um, praise the Lord. <laughs> okay, because I want to make sure that I, you know, get my people says, uh, okay, they talked about Jesus and they still love him. He didn't talk, he didn't talk negative on them. That's right. Okay. No, he's saying Jesus did not uh, okay. talk about people. Matter mm -hmm. of fact, but he, he never, they were trying to cruise down. He never said a mumbling word. Mm -hmm. So that's just not my DNA. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, so what do, what do we do go for? Like, what is the intent going for for Riviera Beach? What do you see going after the election now? Because we got to move past that. I mean, it's 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 in it's in the voters' hands on who you want to. Thank you, Michael. You're absolutely amazing. Well, thank you. I try and trust me. I just want to tell you this: no interview is ever going to be the same. Okay, I don't care who you. I, I'll interview someone else next week. It's not going to be the same as the mayor's because. Everyone's cut differently. Everyone answers differently. Everyone engages differently. So it's really unfair to, let's say, compare interviews. And um, TD, if you ever want to come back, hey, I'm, you know. But we, we want to move forward because it's important for the people to move forward because all the back and forth will never get resolved. Am I, am I right? Because right. it's always going to be you this, you that, you that, and we're all adults. So for the, for the voters, and they like to say they pay your pay. I see that. <laughs> <laughs> We pay your payroll. So for the people who are paying your payroll. Yes. <laughs> and they say I'm the hardest working man. I don't know whether I'm the hardest working man. Listen, oh. I do what I do. Okay. I do what I do, and I do it for the people. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad to do it for Thank the you, people. Thank you, Cheryl. And I'm getting there. Thank you, Cheryl. That's what we wanted. Cause, and I wanted to, we want to know what the plans are, but we have to get the ugliness out because that has to purge. That has to be a cleansing. And I believe when people don't get to cleanse themselves, they stay dirty. I mean, point blank. And, and he's not perfect. TD's not perfect. Nobody's perfect. Um, but we need to get it together for the city of Revere. And again, Palm Beach County, I, I mean, I like to come. I love the marina. I love the, and shout out to Janice Stalin. She's doing and great Dr. things. And Dr. Smith, who said Mary time is out, and I've heard that she's going to run for mayor. And that's fine. Okay. Please do. If you feel whoever it is out there, Alex mm -hmm. Freeman, mm -hmm. uh, doctor, whoever it is, if you can do a better job, mm -hmm. run and let the people speak. Mm -hmm. That's fine with me. Mm -hmm. They've spoken five times. And if they speak the sixth time and it's a change, so be it. But if they mm -hmm. send me back again, that means, and you know, that's the, that's the thing that bothers me. Because when you talk about me, take pot shots at me, then you're taking pot shot shots out at everybody else who voted for me. If you say a so-called mayor, then you got to say, it must be a so-called people out there. Because mm -hmm. these are the people it's not about masters. Who are the people that mm -hmm. vote for master? It's the Brooks family. It's the Ferguson family. It's the Cooley families. It's the Smith families. It's the unemployed families. It's the veteran families. It's those students. It's those who got jobs. It's those people who I have preached funerals mm -hmm. free and have given offerings back to them. It's the people that I've tried to help. Those are the people mm -hmm. who keep putting masters back. So while you keep talking, I'm going to keep walking and do what I do to help the people and to God be the glory. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so we have, what, what are the plans? What are your plans for? Well, <clears throat> this is what I think that, that what, what we need to be, excuse me, mm -hmm. and where we need to go. First of all, I think we, we, I've always said this, and I tried to do something. Violence, crime, but particularly violence, is the number one issue for me. Okay. If you don't have a safe city, you don't have a city at all. Mm -hmm. If you don't have a safer city, mm -hmm. you can't 
investors will not come, people will not stay. We have to put more boots on the ground. Mm -hmm. We have to have more neighborhood groups, uh, crime prevention groups. We have to look at best practices. Mm -hmm. We have to do something to bring the violent crime rate down in our county. We are the high, second highest in the county. Mm -hmm. That's number one for me. That's number one. Mm -hmm. We've got to do something about it. We got to work with law enforcement. We got to work with our parents. We have to work with the schools. We have to work with our pastors. Mm -hmm. Thank God for those 40 plus pastors who invited me in or who accepted me and Dr. Mm -hmm. Botel and Kashama to come in. Mm -hmm. But we can't let those pastors go. Mm -hmm. We have to work with clergy to do something about the high violence rate and the homicide rate in this city. Mm -hmm. That's number one. That's number one. Number two, we must put people back to work. Mm -hmm. When people are not working, the mm -hmm. crime rate goes up. Yeah, and Cheryl did say that you gave uh, a lot of a lot of people jobs. So, you know, we want to highlight the good comments as well, too, not the, just the negative comments. Um, she also says if you help those senior citizens um, get AC units. So, kudos to you for that. Um, okay, so let's go on. Okay. Uh, unemployment. We've got to put people mm -hmm. back to work. Okay. Economic development. Okay? We've got to make sure that when people come here to develop, they don't just say we're going to hire X amount from the community. They never do. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, there are some people that have said some things. I, I, you know, I don't like to use the word racist, but they act like racist because when they get what, what they get their little store or get the little restaurant, the next thing you know, they're hiring everybody over there to look like them. They're hiring their family. That's just not right. Mm -hmm. So we've got to tighten up with the investors to make mm -hmm. sure that they invest not only just buildings, but they've got to invest in the community mm -hmm. because there's an impact on the community. So we've got to make sure we get our impact fee. The next thing is not just economic development, but responsible economic development, and then education. Mm -hmm. Education is a continuous process of learning. Mm -hmm. We must lift our schools. We want to make sure that every school mm -hmm. in Riviera Beach is an A school, mm -hmm. not a B school, not a C school. Mm -hmm. And then we must... Make sure that we just, how do I say this? Our senior citizens are golden. Mm -hmm. We must make sure that those golden years, we have to reach out to our seniors and do all that we can to help them, mm -hmm. to give them a helping hand. Mm -hmm. So for the seniors, for the single parents, there's just so much. Mm -hmm. For the brothers and sisters at Stony Brook, I haven't forgotten you. And if they have, if they have not kept their word, we'll be right back out there. Mm -hmm. Again, mm -hmm. we're going to, we have to be where the people are. So these are the issues that we must keep alive. Do something about the crime, the violence. Do something about unemployment. Do something about education. Even health care. Uh, make sure that we have health care facilities in our city. Mm -hmm. Those are the kinds of things that I'm going to be out there doing what I can do. Okay. And I know the last thing, are we... Are we and, and, I, and I told T.D. when he was talking, too, about it, where he's going to try to do, I guess, like the bus tours. I thought that was actually a, a neat idea. I'm not sure if you're going to um, allow that or about it. Well, but, you know, and when it happens, it happens. Okay. Because that was yeah. something that, that was asking, too. So, again, I don't want people to feel like, oh, we're not, you know, we're not addressing anything. What happened to, was it Maritime? The Maritime. I maritime. support, I support okay. Maritime. And, and see, that's another thing. A uh, person does not uphold their words. I mean, what about the children that I have the guy in which she would have done that? That's another thing. Because okay. you, and let me just say this, because you support a candidate or an elected official doesn't mean that you agree with everything they say or everything they do. Yes, there's been times I have disagreed with candidates that I have supported on issues. But at the end of the day, mm -hmm. you have to look at, Things you uh, disagree about and things you agree. If you have more common ground, as Reverend Jesse Jackson says, then that's great. But it doesn't mean husband and wife, they don't agree on every little thing. They have issues sometimes. Mm -hmm. So because, and the other thing, I, I want to say this. Your enemies are your enemies. Mm -hmm. doesn't have to be my enemies. Mm -hmm. So there's people who may like me that may not like you. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to like you because they like me. Uh, well, I don't know. Well, whatever I'm you trying to say. say. <laughs> I don't know. I probably didn't say it right. What I'm saying, your enemies is mm -hmm. not necessarily my enemies. That's what I'm trying to say. Right. You know, if people don't like you, that's on them. So because people support Kashamba or Dr. Botel, 
I, they don't have to like me, but if they like them, you know, that's, that's, that's their right. But don't hate me because, uh, don't, you know, not because Kashama voted one way. Well, the mayor supports it, yes. But that doesn't mean I agreed with Kashama on one thing out of 100 or two things out of 80. You know, let's get above that. Even Democrats disagree sometimes on how best to move this, the country. Some say, you know, you got liberal Democrats, you got conservative, but, you know, we still in the same party. Exactly. We're not going to get out the party because we may disagree on Obamacare. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's true. Now, what's the weed and seed, Rebel Grassley? Ah, that was a program, and that's a good program. <laughs> We need to the bring long it. sigh. We, we the, need the, to bring the it long, back. Yeah, she asked. I'm like, I, I, don't, I don't know what that is. Okay. What, go back to that. Ten years, I want to say that. Uh, sounds good. Ten years offer that has not come to fruition. Okay. Well, that means we're going to keep working, make it better. And as Reverend Jesse Jackson says, keep hope alive. And again, let's go back to the people. The people had five times, Alex, to have a new mayor. And they chose to stick with the one they know mm -hmm. rather than the one they don't know or the one that they believe in rather than the one they don't believe in. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you can't take pot shots at me and not take pot shots at the people. You can fool the people one year. Mm -hmm. You might fool the people two years. You might fool the people three years. But are you going to fool them four years and five years? Are you going to fool the people six years? Can you fool the people seven years? Can you fool the people eight years, nine years, ten years, eleven years, five terms, and the people are still here as the same people that are voting, and the teenagers are now <laughs> becoming adults, and they're voting for me. So don't blame me. Don't hate on me. Don't blame the people. They just believe that Thomas Masters is the mayor and the voice mm -hmm. of the voiceless. This is Lisa Gordon. Um, are there plans for the educational training plan, pipeline citizens, and learning more about marine services for employment possibilities as Riviera Beach is on the water? Well, <clears throat> Dr. Patel, that's one of the things that she has um, in her campaign, the platform. She really wants to do to get involved, and um, I think it was a mistake that, that we lost the Maritime Academy. I, I wish the council had voted differently, but Dr. Patel wants to work very closely with the uh, maritime uh, uh, people to, to make sure that I, our kids can find good jobs. You know, everyone is not, is not going to go to college, you know, but just because in college doesn't mean we're going to throw you away. There's good right. skills, there's good trades, and that's one of the things I've heard her say over and over again. Mm -hmm. She wants to have a uh, maritime type of academy. Uh, and I support that. And speaking of the schools, you did mention earlier, I don't know if we touched on that too, about the metal detectors. Yes. Trying to do that in every she supports metal detectors. Okay. I mean, who wouldn't? Okay. I mean, but don't get me wrong. That's not the the answer, and it's not the only answer. Mm -hmm. We've got to do something about gun laws in this country. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we, we've got to do something about this. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you know, we have to do what we can now. We can't wait on Republican Democrats to fight it out as well, should we raise the age? Should we put a ban on assault? That's going. That's not going to happen overnight. Mm -mm. That's going to be a political fight, mm -hmm. and we know most of the the Republicans are not on the side of the Democrats mm -hmm. when it comes to gun laws. They're supporting mostly the is it the NRA mm -hmm. positions. Most Democrats are opposed. They're going to fight it out. But I'm just glad I'm a Democrat, and I'm mm -hmm. glad I support what my party supports. And I support the candidates like Kashama Miller Anderson, mm -hmm. a true Democrat and working hard in the Democrat Party. She's a member of that um, young Democrat. I, I don't know what the name of it is. I'm getting too old. I can't remember all this stuff. And um, Dr. Botel, uh, a true Democrat, worked mm -hmm. for Hillary, worked for um, uh, Obama, mm -hmm. worked to give the returning citizens the right to vote. And, you know, just because Dr. Patel sees something differently about an individual mm -hmm. or an issue, that's not my issue, mm -hmm. you know. And I'm not going to hate on her or throw her away, but because we find so much common ground. And because we can agree mm -hmm. and disagree, but not become disagreeable. And that's the issue for me. Okay, and uh, there's Lady Goldwire, a sad state she, of affairs. She just joined in, so... How are you? Um, who is it? Lady Goldwater. Hi, Lady Goldwater. How are you? Keep doing your job. 
And <laughs> just keep doing your job. And I've said that to you all the time. It doesn't matter what people say or do. I say that not only to our lady go white, but everybody else. Mm -hmm. Do your job. You know, when you seek to do good, even people are going to always say, if you don't do it, they're going to talk about it. If you do it, they're going to talk about it. Just do your job. Mm -hmm. And keep God, you know, just pray about everything you do. And it will turn out. Even when I go out to knock on doors, before I get out of that car, I pray and I ask the Lord, Lord, lead me and guide me to the homes on this street and these people that will listen to their mayor about voting for Dr. Patel and Kashama and why. I ask, Lord, let me not leave this street without 10 signs. I do. I, I say that prayer because I believe the steps of a good woman or a good man <laughs> are ordered by the Lord. I don't just go out there. How do you think that all these signs got in yards? Because the mayor put a lot of them in. But it was hard work. It was having faith. And it was prayer. And I don't just leave literature and go. I knock on the door and I talk to the people. And I tell them why you ought to support this Democrat, Dr. Botel. That's it. But I do that. And I did it for Lynn Hubbard. I did it for others who have uh, run for office. And uh, the list goes on and on and on. Mm. But, you know, when I do it for them, they think I'm the greatest person in the world. Mm. But when I do it for somebody else, oh, he's the worst person in the world. Mm -hmm. But I remember when I knocked on those doors for uh, some of my colleagues. They ain't say nothing about me then. Mm -hmm. But when I knock on someone else, when I knock on doors for someone who's not my colleague, then... Mm. You know, but God bless you. I still love you anyway. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, you, I mean, I'm just looking to see. I love Riviera Beach. So, you know, we're in on a high note. And that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to, you know, end on a high note because that's what we need. That's right. So do, no. you, do you have anything else? And, I, again, you can always go back and read the comments um, on here as well. And but I, I, I do want to make one comment because... Okay. You know, um, people are saying, what Reverend keeps saying, Bishop keeps talking about Republican and Democrat, and this is a nonpartisan election. I, I get that, and I understand that. But you have to understand that national policies mm -hmm. affect local policy and local politics, local government. For example, when you have a president who is talking about Haitian Americans, and that's Haitian Americans in our city. Mm -hmm. When you have a president that want to send Haitian Americans and others back and Latinos back to Mexico and other places, that affects people in our city. When when you have a president that wants to reverse health affordable health care, that affects thousands of people in our city. Mm -hmm. And if you're running for office, it just ain't a good time to be a Trump. Republican support mm -hmm. because he, that president is fostering policies that are detrimental mm -hmm. to the welfare and for the good of our people, our mm -hmm. people, black and white, mm -hmm. our people, our citizens. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm on the picture with Barack Obama. Uh, Don Pardo is on the picture with uh, President Trump. Be proud. You ought to be proud. If that's who you want to take pictures with, be proud of that. I'm oh. proud of I'm proud of Barack Obama and what he did. I'm proud of our city, the only city in this state and perhaps in the United States that has the President Barack Obama Highway intersecting with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And when you can't attend the Martin Luther King festivities, I got a problem. Only one, one thing, and you don't go to the other. And when you vote against the Martin Luther King funding, 2008, I got a problem. When you vote against naming, getting rid of old Dixie, old Dixie, and naming it President Barack Obama, and you say, oh, you didn't vote that way because of the black. Wait a minute, hold on. If it's black, do something about it. But four people didn't see it that way. Mm -hmm. They saw it differently. So it does matter. Mm -hmm. Your party matters, especially when the policies affect the masses of our people. Mm -hmm. And when I say your party, remember again, there's a difference in being a Republican mm -hmm. and being a Trump Republican. That's a big difference. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. 
But we're gonna end it now, and um, I, I'm sure that uh that Don Pardo will Corey be, Jones will be tagged. Yeah, Corey, Corey Jones. Corey Jones was murdered by the man, and Pardo sought out their support. She went to the meeting to ask for their support. Well, let me just say this because um, th let me just say this. There's some people have some people have tried to make a, a, a issue uh, and taken pot shots at a Kashama Miller Anderson because she received the support of the Police Benevolent Association. Let me clarify. That. <laughs> okay. Uh, I prayed before and it didn't and it didn't buffer, so maybe I can pray again. Mm -hmm. But I want to make the point about Kashama Anderson and taking a lot of flack from people who are saying, oh, she's being supported by the PBA. Mm -hmm. Listen, because she's being supported by the PBA, that doesn't mean that Kashama Anderson, Miller Anderson, agrees with everything they say or everything they do or, or every position they may take. I may be supported by the ACLU, but God knows there are some things that I don't agree with with the ACLU. They disagreed with me about the pull-up-the-pants issue, but I'm not going to fall out with them. And if they want to support me as mayor, they support me. I ain't supporting them. They support me. But this is an issue. Kashama Miller Anderson and Lynn Hubbard went to Washington, D.C. to support Corey Jones. Kashama Miller Anderson went to Tallahassee to support the Corey Jones family. And she went both times with members of that family. And if you go to Sheila, uh, what's it, um, Sheila Banks, Banks page, you will see that Corey Jones family, the Banks family, are in full support mm -hmm. of Kashama Miller Anderson to become the next, um, uh, to be reelected. Mm -hmm. So um, there you go. You know, uh, they wouldn't be supporting Kashama if they had a problem with Kashama. So what is, ask, ask Dawn how she feels about sober homes. Okay. Well, uh, Don, Don Pardo's not here. I'm sure she probably will definitely hear about this interview. Um, so it's, I'm sure it'll be a, a to be con continued. <laughs> it'll be a, it'll be a to be continued on, on, okay. on that. And it's okay. Thank it's you America. for everyone. Everybody has yes, the right to show, express Katie, their thank views. You. And I want to thank you for at least giving me equal opportunity mm -hmm. to come. Please say that again because I want to thank. This young lady, okay, <laughs> for giving me an equal opportunity to come and speak and to tell the side of the story why the mayor supports who he supports, what the mayor has done, what the mayor feels about the direction of the city. Mm -hmm. Some say the city's in turmoil. Some say the city's uh, what they say. Yeah, uh, turn, I call it turn around. No, no, no. Yeah. But there's another word uh, on the rise. On the rise. Uh, well, you know, on the rise is to me kind of a guilty statement. Because anything on the rise means you're coming up. So that means you're down and you're moving up. So you're on the rise. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I don't, I don't like any of those terms because I'm not in turmoil. Mm -hmm. Because I know who I am. Mm -hmm. But more importantly, I know whose I am. And the city is, I don't see the city as being in turmoil. The council may have been in a little turmoil mm -hmm. and have some problems. But the city, I, I stick with our, our theme. Mm -hmm. Riviera Beach, and maybe this is a good place to end, mm -hmm. is still the best waterfront city in which to live, work, and play. Jimmy Stall and City and Turn Around. And like as turn around. far as if you want to bring up something about a teenager years ago, everybody know that was a lie then, it's a lie now, it's a lie forever. Are uh, you talking about what she's saying? Yeah, and uh, totally exonerated. So if that's all you got, bring up something Break up something different because now, you know five what? times that's, that's don't I'm, do that. Now don't let do me that. let me just say this because you know and I and I'm always a person to keep it real and you know I commend you for for standing here because you kind of knew what people were no, going to say okay. and um, he's he's not talking about the child he you know they mentioned the car on here and and you you, you they mentioned you, the car they mentioned the car on there too oh yeah you, you know that you, just says I ain't on the tape because I was on the tape my car would never been taken. <laughs> that means I'm poor, broke, busted, and disgusted sometimes and have the same financial challenges like anybody else. It's called the mayor is human. <laughs> so listen.
people of power. You can't say Kitty. We didn't. I mean, you. Lorenzo said, "Man, man, I love you, my brother." Man, let me tell you, when, when you teenager, everything, teenager. everything was almost everything was addressed. I don't know what I don't know what else to to address. And um, what's your assistant's name? I'm sorry. What's what's, uh, uh, what's that girl's name? <laughs> don't do that to her. She's in, oh, and she threw name. something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, 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 harassment, abuse. She just threw something at me. Y'all saw it. Uh, Debbie, I, Debbie, uh, LeBlanc, LeBlanc, LeBlanc okay. Isaacs, I am so blessed now, let me, to let, have Debbie. You are, but let me just tell yeah. you, before, before I interviewed with you, I kind of went over, you know, with her and I was like, you know, I want to talk about this. I can tell she's very protective over you. And that's a great thing to Sometimes have Sometimes I think she's too protective. No, but that's a good and thing. And I have to tell her, Debbie, you don't speak for the mayor. Yeah. I speak for me. But no, well, that's Mr. A, mayor, that's I have a, to tell you. Yeah. I said, okay, Debbie, go ahead. And that's Debbie a good is thing. an Aries. Okay. Do you know anything about Aries? They, they like to run things a little bit. They, Do you know like, anything else about Aries? Let me tell you this. <laughs> Let me just say this to everybody. If an Aries says this paper is black, the you, only way, can I get a witness, that you can get along with an Aries, mm -hmm. you better agree. Because mm -hmm. if you don't agree, they want to fight. And they'll get angry, and they'll get upset. You have to say, yes, Debbie, it's black. You're right, until she sees it as white. Okay. So sometimes I just have to let her see and she say, Mr. Mayor, you're right. It says a great interview. And that's Mayor, you handled, you handled yourself. And that's what I was going to tell, you know, most people that are looking. If you are ever running for office, if you're ever being a public figure, entertainment, take this. Because <laughs> let me tell you, if this is the man that doesn't have the thickest skin in Palm Beach County, I can't tell you who has because you allowed it to happen. And I know... I know she didn't want you to probably answer, and I, and I can understand that because when you're protecting someone, you're like, please don't, please let's not go there. But in order for the city to heal, in order for you to be more connected with the people that you serve, you, you got to address some things because then they'll feel That's like fine. you're being dishonest and, and you addressed it and, and we people, keep it moving. And when people say moving. like the last statement, we have a divisive man, how can you say that? <laughs> you ought to be ashamed of yourself. How can you, you say that? Dr. How can you say that and the people have elected and re-elected the mayor five times. Are you saying the people are ignorant, blind, can't see? Are you saying the people are divisive? Or are you saying that government ought to be by the people, for the people, of the people, of, by, for, however it goes? Are you saying the majority rules? Is that not the republic? Is that not America? So again, if you take pot shots at me, then take pop shots at those thousands of people. Every opportunity, they know, every, they, they done called me everything, uh, everything other than a child of God. And I'm going to say what a woman told me. Excuse my friend. She said, I don't give a damn what they say about masters. I'm going to vote for them every time because masters cares about me and he cares about the people. Thank you. Well, you said it, and I think that's a great note to end on. So we've addressed it. Now we move forward. Now we go to the great city that Riviera Beach is going to be. So you know what? March 13th, it's in your hands, and I know Don Pardo probably is going to call me after this interview. That's okay. I, I'm just... <laughs> Erica, <laughs> Erica, don't be calling those preachers pet, 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 pet preachers. Don't do that, Erica. Don't say yeah, Oh, yeah, trust just me. Just pray. Nobody... Pastors great interview, and Kitty and perfect. the mayor. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So it says they keep putting him back in the seat, and he's not afraid to go into the dark to help those people. And just so Thank again, you so much. we read the and, and and this is this is why I love the show because we read the good and the bad. I can't just I you read all the good and bad. Well, I, you know what? You I know you love I love, and, and let me tell you, <laughs> being a preacher at four years old, and this is why I wanted to do the the rewind because I get to know people a little better, and I've learned more, and I hope. Um, that we may address some things. I hope that we can get past this. Once again, I am a West Palm Beach citizen, but... And y'all stop talking about Dr. Lee Smith. Let's just stop it. Let's just stop talking about one another. Yeah. We can disagree, but it's America. If we can't say something good about somebody, don't say mm -hmm. anything bad about anyone. Okay? She's your sister. I'm your brother. We are brothers and sisters. <laughs> it's the we best may, show ever. We may disagree, but, but we hey, are one. Ray Lowe. We're one. Hey, Rev. He said, hey, Rev. Hey, Ray. God bless you. All right. So we're, I, I'm, I don't even, I'm scared to even know the time at this point. Um, late. Late. <laughs> Look, that's all we need to know. But we started late. We started late. And I, I, I like it because you wouldn't rush. You, you know, you addressed things you could address. And again, please make sure, and I'm sorry for the buffering. It's really not our fault. It's It was the Wi-Fi 
Facebook. It was all that. So, you know, so I'm, I'm sure next, when is your next meeting? Is it next week? Uh, it's mm -hmm. after uh, Dr. Patel gets the next and Kashama gets reelected. That's when it's going to be. Now, see, 24. Oh, yeah, I have to say that because say I believe it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. But let me, let me, no, I'm just kidding. You know, <laughs> it's in two weeks. I like to just say something, you know, uh, now. But, you know, but seriously, may I end this <laughs> Yeah. Uh, great show with just prayer. Oh, we need is it. that is that we need it. we need we need the healing. We need the prayer warriors to go on the timelines and, and Facebook and social media. Yeah, we, we need it. So everybody out there, stop, hey, stop, stop it. Stop doing the pot shouting, shooting. Stop talking about everybody, including. Just stop it, and let's just pray. Because you know what, he that is without sin, mm -hmm. casts the first stone. Now, if mm -hmm. you're perfect then don't pray. But if you're imperfect, pray with us. Mm -hmm. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, I just ask that you just bless our city. Unite us where we're divide, divided. Strengthen us where we're weak. Build us up where we're torn down. Every elected official, Father, we ask that, that they will just see whatever you need them to see and do whatever needs to be done to bring you glory, to magnify and lift the name of Jesus and truly make this city what we believe and what we call it. We call our city not a city in turmoil. turmoil. We don't call our city a city on the rise. We call our city the best waterfront city in which to live, work, play, and pray and help us to live up to that forgive us, all of us, of our sins. We know that we all have sinned and we come short of the glory of God. And all of our righteousness, all of our righteousness are still like filthy rags in your sight. Hold our hand and guide our feet. Be our bridge over troubled waters. In the name of Jesus, I pray and we pray. And even in where we are in this office, I can still say, let the church say amen. Amen. Thank you very much. All right. So thank everyone for joining us, and we are gone. We're out. <laughs>